Hi friend, welcome to Zio Entire. Today I am going to discuss one more topic which is related to the Indian mineral deposits that is the asbestos. Asbestos, it is very very important mineral. So in this lesson I am going to discuss what is asbestos, what is the classification of asbestos, mode of occurrence of asbestos, then origin of asbestos, how asbestos is originated, then geographical distribution, particularly Indian as well as world distribution of this asbestos then last that is the properties and uses of this asbestos this aspect i am going to discuss in this lesson so first we will see what is asbestos asbestos it is nothing but the a group of silicate minerals and it is identified on the basis of long and fibrous crystals so that is a one of the important property of this asbestos so asbestos is it is an excellent excellent electrical insulator so therefore it is used in the it is used in the building construction or building purpose so now i am going to discuss the physical properties of this asbestos so on the basis of this property we can identify whether it is asbestos or not so asbestos having one of the most important property that is the crystal system there are two types of asbestos. One is the serpentine asbestos and second one is the amphibole asbestos. So both these two types of asbestos having different crystal system. So when we see the asbestos is crystallized into two crystal system. One is the orthorhombic and monochemic. So next one is the color. When we see the color of this asbestos, as asbestos having variety of colors. Asbestos found in green color also. Asbestos found in the red color, asbestos found in a yellow color, asbestos found in white color, asbestos found in gray color, and asbestos also found in blue colors. So it has a range of colors. It has different colors. So that is a not that, that much uh, important property to identify asbestos. Next one is the important property that is the cleavage. Cleavage is the direction along which mineral breaks very easily. When we see the asbestos, asbestos having prismatic cleavage. So next property that is the luster. Luster is nothing but the external appearance of the mineral in a light. When we see the asbestos, asbestos having silky luster. Then next property that is the streak. Streak is nothing but the powder of the color of the mineral. So each and every asbestos having white streak. Color whatever it may be but streak is white. So then next property that is the hardness. The hardness of this asbestos, it ranges from 2.5 to 6. Then fracture, fracture is nothing but the fracture surface or broken surface of a particular mineral. It is like a fibrous. So these are the some physical properties of the asbestos. To identify any asbestos in particular field or in a laboratory. So now we will discuss classification of asbestos. I have already told there are two types of asbestos. So first one is the serpentine asbestos and second one is the amphibole asbestos. The chrysolite it is variety belongs to the serpentine asbestos. Whereas amosite it is belongs to the amphibole asbestos. Then there are different minerals of this asbestos particularly trimolite is there, anthophyllite, actinolite, then crocidolite. Crocidolite is a blue color uh, variety of this asbestos. So these are the different minerals which are present in the asbestos. Now, when we see the asbestos, history of asbestos, when we see the stone age, according to the archaeology, the use of this uh, asbestos from that age to the present. So the use of this uh, particularly in pot making because it gives durability to the particular pot. So that's why the in earlier time, according to the archaeology, in pot making purpose, this asbestos is particularly used. Now, we will discuss the mode of occurrence. How they are occurred? Particularly, chrysolite asbestos, it is found in the ultra basic rocks, particularly MG rich, magnesium rich rocks, some sedimentary rocks are there, limestone, dolomites, and in which the asbestos occurs in cross fiber 
sleep fibers and mass fiber forms so the next variety that is the amosite uh, asbestos it is particularly along with the some metamorphic rocks particularly cyst slates and banded iron stones so possibly it form by the contact metamorphic process so whatever the asbestos is form in this uh, amosite type or amphibole type they are the because of the contact metamorphic process product of the contact metamorphic process so this is the mode of occurrence of this asbestos now we were going to discuss third aspect that is the origin of this asbestos asbestos is originated or formed by the three process one is the alteration then second one is the metamorphism and third one is the contact metasomatism these three processes which are responsible for the formation of asbestos in alteration what happens the earlier mineral is converted into the or altered into the next one and next mineral may be the asbestos so this is the one of the process then second that is the metamorphism Meta, in metamorphism three factors are very very important one is the pressure second is the temperature and third one is the chemical active fluid these three factor causes conversion of earlier mineral into the other earlier into the next that is the recrystallization of the earlier one and because of that the asbestos are formed then third process that is called as contact metasomatism in contact somatism it is again one type of metamorphism but in which the role of chemical active fluid that is very very important and because of this this type of mineral is formed so that is the asbestos so there are different process of origin of ores and rocks among which due to these three processes this asbestos is formed we are not going to detail each and each and every process serpentine extracted from the jug from rock and deposited as a asbestos in tight fractures the walls of which are uh, pushed apart by the force of growing crystals so now we are going to discuss graphical distribution or indian distribution particularly we are going to discuss in this lesson when we see the indian deposits there are particularly one of the famous region that is the pulivenla belt which is present in the kadappa basin of andhra pradesh and in this belt it is produced due to the intrusion of dolerite seal into the dolomite rocks so dolomite is the host rock in which dolerite that is the igneous rock which are intruded in the form of seals and in that case there is formation of this asbestos then second type then second deposits that is the trimolite asbestos so this trimolite asbestos it is found in the singhu belt which is present in bihar then third deposit that is the trimolite anthophyllite uh, asbestos which is particularly found in rajasthan so these are the three localities where we can find more deposits of this asbestos so now we will discuss in detail uh, what is uh, andhra pradesh asbestos deposits when we see the in india the best quality of asbestos is produced from the this pulivenla belt which is present in the kadappa basin of karnataka here the variety that is the chrysolite that is the asbestos which is occurs at the contact of bed of kadappa limestone with dolerite seals so this is the host rock in which that type of particular asbestos is found then when we see the nagaland the variety of silky chrysolite has been recorded from the rocks in the naga hills from the nagaland then bihar in bihar already i have told so that is the singhu belt which is famous for the asbestos deposits particularly amphibole variety which is found in this particular singhu belt the next one that is the gujarat in narayanpur valley here also reported some asbestos deposits karnataka the main deposits occurs in the hassan district which is in karnataka the asbestos particularly in this zone or in this area it is having brittle nature and amphibole type whereas chrysolite variety occurs in the mysore district of karnataka so these are the localities where asbestos is found in uh, karnataka so now tamil nadu so there are uh, some small occurrences which is uh, fibrous variety of this asbestos particularly salem district and this deposit are generally associated with magnesite so this is regarding the tamil nadu deposits of asbestos when we see the all the deposits indian deposits chrysolite asbestos is mainly located in kadappa basin 
which is present in Andhra Pradesh and Singhum in Bihar. So these are the two localities where asbestos mainly found. The chief or main sources of this asbestos, one is the Andhra Pradesh, particularly Kadapa Basin and second one is the Singhum belt of Bihar. Rather than this, there are some other localities, particularly small deposits of asbestos is found in Mysore, Udaipur. So when we see the major production of the chrysolite, that is near about 26 million tons which is uh, from Andhra Pradesh and amphibole variety from the Rajasthan and Karnataka. So these are the localities uh, where we have reported the asbestos deposits. Then we will go towards the world distribution. When we see the world distribution of, according to the report of 2017, the 53% production of this asbestos from the single country that is the Russia. The remaining countries are Canada, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. So these are the countries where most of the production from these countries. 70% ASEAN countries are the consumer of this particular asbestos deposits. Now we are going to discuss properties and uses of this asbestos. It is naturally occurring silky fibrous material. It is uninflammable. So that is the I have already told. So therefore it is very valuable in manufacturing of fire cloths, then ropes, papers, seatings, paints, belts, etc. So, it is also used in making aprons, gloves, curtains, brake linings in automobiles industries as an insulating materials. So, majority of the fireproof cloths are also made up of this asbestos. So, asbestos cement sheets are used for the roofing purpose. If it is in brittle form, it is made into filter pads for filtering acids, organic liquids and other uh, chemicals also. So in this lesson, I have discussed what is asbestos, what are the different physical properties of the asbestos, what is the classification of the asbestos, what is mode of occurrence of asbestos, what is origin of asbestos, Indian distribution as well as world distribution of this asbestos and last one that is the, some properties, important properties and uses of this asbestos. So this part I have discussed in this lesson. If you like my video, if you like my lesson, subscribe and share my YouTube channel that is Geo Entire All About The